Okay, so now I'm gonna have a go at the next Codility um, test, cyclic rotation. So before I start, I'm going to actually make a class in here. I'll call it cyclic rotation. And I'm just gonna get the main method out of this class and copy it into here. Cyclic rotation. And I presume I'm gonna print the solution. Um, so let's have a look at the task description. Actually, to be fair, I'm going to start the task and then read it um, during my test time. So start the task. I don't know what this task is, so let's go. An array A consisting of n integers is given. Rotation of the array means that each element is shifted right by one index. And the last element of the array is moved to the first place. For example, rotation of 38976 becomes 63897. So that's easy enough. The three is moved across one. Everything's moved across one. The last element has come to the front. The goal is to rotate A k times so that each element of A will be shifted to the right k times. Okay presumably rotated yeah write a function which returns an int array which is a shifted array takes the input array and the number of rotations to perform that's pretty simple so given 38976 I'm expecting this to be 1 2 3 so I'm expecting it to be would it be 97638? Yep. A000 will return anything 000, yeah. 12344, 1234, yeah. N and K are integers in the range of 0 to 100. Each element of array A is an integer with a range minus a thousand to a thousand. Okay, well that, well the, the, I don't see what difference the um, values are gonna make to anything, but N integers, there's between zero and 100 integers. It says in your solution, focus on correctness. The performance will not be the focus of the assessment. Okay, so it's really easy then. Um, I'll do it in Eclipse just in case. I was uh, st stuttering a bit then because I wasn't sure whether I was going to have to I think it would be easy anyway, but um, if it if they wanted an efficient solution, then we don't really want to be looping round. And then I was worried that maybe there'd be many values, but if there's only 100 values and they don't care about efficiency, this is very simple. So I just need to do for i equals zero, I need to loop k times. And all I need to do is get the last value from A and put it to the, oh no, well, I need to get the last value. And put it into. So A length minus one is the last index of the A of A. I'm gonna save that value and then I'm gonna loop j equals a dot length minus two j is greater than or equal to zero 
j minus minus. So I want to, what I'm going to do here is move the value at j to j plus 1, so that's why I'm starting at minus 2. I want to do that all the way down to the last value in the array and j minus minus. So a j plus 1 equals a j as simple as that and then at, at the end um, a0 equals last value and I'll just return a is it really that simple um, so for example 38976 So passing in an int array and we're passing in three and we expect it to return nine seven three nine seven six three eight <laughs> ah um I need to like loop through the solution. So I'm just outputting the value um, in a loop. 97638. Yeah. Now this is what we mean by corner cases. Uh, so 000, zero, zero uh, it's possible. I don't think there's any way of confusing this, but 000, zero, zero is a corner case. You could imagine that that could trip up some programs. Um, one two three four k equals four, and we want the value to be f one two three four again. This uh, I'm very confident that this is easy. I can't imagine what could possibly make it wrong. So I'm going to submit my solution. You always get like a chance to test it out on some simple test cases. I think you can also put some test input into this file. If you want some additional test cases to run before you submit, uh, so I run the test. Example test, okay, okay, okay. Your code is syntactically correct and works perfectly on the examples. The examples are not part of the score. However, they specifically said don't worry about. Um, performance so that is that that's very simple so let's see how I did I'd be amazed if I didn't get 100% no score oh am I still waiting for the score 87% okay Runtime error, empty array. Okay, fair enough. So that's a corner case that I didn't think of. Um, so that's fair enough. Um, I should have thought that I may have to put an empty array into it. So I was overconfident then. Um, now I can, I'm going to go and fix it.
so I'm going to start again. I accept the score of 87%. Um, I don't deserve 100%. But if I can just fix it by saying if a dot length equals zero, there's nothing to do. And I could even make it a little bit more efficient by saying if or a dot length equals k. So in the example of one, two, three, four, um, the length is four, and we shift it four times. There's no need to do anything. So just return a. So that's a slight efficiency improvement as, as well. So let's submit that. And hopefully this time I'll get 100%. So 100%, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so thanks for watching.